Hi guys, today we're at Lone Fir Campground at Cascades National Park in Washington. We've traveled down from Vancouver uh, where we picked up my sister and I'll have a little story to tell you about that a little later on. Yeah, nah, she's poking her tongue at me right now. And we're about to head off on one of the little walks, which is a two, kilo, a two mile walk around and we're going to sew and see a washed out bridge. So let's go. We are on the way. Here's my sister being the atypical tourist and she's taking photographs of the mountain tops as the sun rises above the horizon. So right in the heart of the campground there's this Lone Fur Loop Trail. So we're going to go and have a little walk on that before we continue on our travels. This is the washed out. No, I don't think this is the washed out bridge. I think this is just the normal... Oh, here's the bridge here we go. Ooh, I made it! With any luck we'll get something to put on YouTube where they fall on their ass. She's got a dirty ass. She needs to change her pants before she gets in our bus. I'll just take them off. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, this is getting very boring. The YouTube people aren't going to want to watch this. <laughs> oh. Trail looks a little bit disrepaired. This, 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 this bridge looks like it's about to fall down. It's definitely got a lean on it, I feel like I'm back on the ship. Alright, so the trail is uh, relatively well maintained apart from bridges, um, which seem to be just falling apart everywhere. Um, fairly easy to walk along, even a 71 year old can manage it, so hey, um, get out and get your steps. So this tree is atypical of the um, the ones that have been infested by the, the beetle. What was the beetle called, Jamie? Um, pine beetle. Pine beetle. Pine beetle. So what happens is they get under the bark and they eat all this around here. And then what you'll find is the woodpeckers will come along and they will hammer away at the, at the tree trying to get in to grab all the larvae. But this one is well and truly really dead. So this is the end of the trail, um, there was a bridge here, it's completely collapsed. Um, there are some stairs that you can continue to get up, but um, yeah, the bridge goes nowhere. There is a loop trail, um, but we're not going to do that because that's not a paved area and we've got, you know, the geriatric with us. So this here is the um, other end of the loop trail that goes around. And of course, this is the paved trail that goes down to the bridge that we were just at. Um, so the footholds going through here are going to be a bit more difficult. So we're going to not do that one. Um, okay, well, she's going by herself because... I just want to look over the top of the hill because it's that top of the hill. Okay. And of course, here's the, uh, here's the moss that the caribou eat off the, off the, the trees. Um, and of course, with climate change, the, uh, the amount of this is, is reducing, and that's of course impacting the populations of the caribou. Okay, so now this is the same, same moss here. You can see it's quite a dark colour. Now I'm picking that because this is actually like a pine tree, and pine trees tend to kill everything that's underneath them with their pine needles, that um, they wouldn't eat this because it's probably full of poison. All right, so that's uh, the end of the uh, uh, Lone Pine Trail. Uh, unfortunately, with the bridge out, we won't do the loop. Um, this part of the trail that we're walking on is a very uh, easy 
Uh, you're probably not accessible with the bridges that are out, but um, very easy for anybody to get around and get their steps up. All right, guys, see you next time.